Om Shangri La. Right. Uh, thing, I'm gonna just wet all this. I've drawn a couple of little lines in there. Look. There's been some bits of dust in my water. Look. Got to try not to have bits of dust in your water. There, I get plenty of water, so it's nice and wet. I just take that to the bottom. Right. Um, oh, it's like a creamish colour in here. So I whack that in there like that. Let's see for that. Let rest on it. Nice blue sky, like that. Just in there. Like that. Maybe there's a touch in there, like that, like that. And then, uh, oh, there's a touch. then there's a purple, like a mucky purple colour. Oh, that's perfect. So that sort of comes in about there and in there, like that. It's just like a, a bit of a mucky purple. fat it comes across under it, about like that. That's it. Let me just pick this up and swill it round a bit, I think. So I'm just doing this, just swilling it round a bit. Oh, that is wet. Put it that way a minute. Let it all swill round a bit. Put it upside down a minute. It just lets it all mist in all different directions. You have to sing to yourself while you're doing it. Ding, 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 ding. Tell you what, while I'm doing this, tell you what Doofus has been up to, my stepbrother. He's, um, I told you yesterday, I looked out window, didn't I? And I seen him poking an ornix nest. Well, that didn't end very well. I did tell him, I says, Doofus, don't do that. Just don't do it. Why? Just don't do it, Doofus. Nobody does that. Don't poke an ornix nest, leave it alone. No, he's poked it, poked it, poked it. See, he's already, he fell asleep the day before on an ant's nest in sunshine with baby oil all over him. So he's literally bonting centre, cinder. So straight away, he's, before he's even started, he's in a mess. He's broke his foot because he thought he were a black belt in karaoke. So he's um, been doing his karaoke, kicked the shed and broke his foot. So he's got a broken foot. Put a bit of blue in that. Yeah, so he's got a broken foot. And then he starts, what's he do? Starts prodding an ornix nest. If you've got a broken foot already, don't prod an ornix nest. And then, uh, oh yeah, so he's got a broken foot. Then he's gone um, to sleep with baby oil on him on a red ant's nest. So all the red ants have stung him. And then uh, he's all sunburnt. Then I look out windy yesterday. He's prodding an ornix nest with a stick. Well, ornix have gone after him. Well, so they've gone after him. They've caught up with him. They tried to jump off a next door's fence. And... Um, let me just dry this gently. I can still hear me talking. He tried to jump over next door's fence. And as he's gone over, he's like gone over head first. And the ornits have been stinging his backside as he's going over. So he's got all ornit stings on his backside. And then because they're all whizzing around him, as soon as he got over next door's garden, he jumped into um, garden pond. But thing is, next door with Garden Pond, he keeps a lot of exotic pets and that. And uh, he's got piranha in his pond. So, um, yeah, they do for some... Um, the time he come back round here, he'd got a piranha fish hanging off his earlobe. It covered in algae. And all um, wasp stings all over him. Not to mention a broken foot. And uh, sunburn. But I did try and warn him, don't poke an ornix nest. But he has this problem with listening to stuff, Doofus does. He's not keen on listening to stuff. But yeah, he'll be right. This is looking a nice colour. 
Actually, I should put that one in first. Would have made more sense. No, just keep going there. Pop it all in, I'll dry it, and then put that other one in. Try and get plenty of water in, I think, so I don't lose this. Yeah, so Doofus basically has got himself in the right state. He's, he looks a mess. But you can't tell him out, so. Having said that, I'm not much better off. Because yesterday it was quite nice, so I thought oh, I might get a bit of a suntan. So I sat in the garden. And uh, I says to Doofus, Doofus, bring it fat to 30. But um, what he did, and I didn't realise until it was too late, he bought me the toothpaste by mistake. So I ended up covering this any toothpaste. Um, well, obviously toothpaste don't really protect you from the sun. So um, I'm just mixing blues and yellows here. To give me a green. Yeah, toothpaste ain't going to protect you from sun. So, um, I've ended up covering my sun in toothpaste. And now I'm sunburnt. Luckily, I put loads on my hands and my arms. So, they're not sunburnt, but rest on me. Absolutely bright red. That, and I'm blaming Doofus for that. He bought the, the toothpaste instead of the sun cream. So, I am blaming Doofus for that. I knew I shouldn't trust him to do anything really. Right, I think that I think that's gonna work in my favour doing that fast, because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blend that one in and then do another layer on there. So I'm gonna dry that now. And then that'll give me my third layer in there. Ah. I'm drying it gently so I don't just walk paint around everywhere. So it paint stays where it is. Sometimes when I'm drying it's blowing the paint in. You can dry it gently to get soap into the paper, then you can do it and blast it. In this purplish colour what I've added in here in the green. I'm going to do a bit of that back here. Purples and blues I think. And greens. Right so let's get a bit of, I'll tell you what, say a bit of this blue in here. A bit of blue. Into my green. A bit of that purple as well. Purple and blue. Oh and plenty of water. I want thin paint. Yeah, quite like that. A bit more purple in. Plenty of water. A bit more blue in. That's nice. Plenty of water, keep going plenty of water so there's a puddle at the bottom and then you're not getting a hard line. It's purple, I've hardly used any green really, I've gone <coughs> sort of purple and blue. We can take that down there with whatever's on there, right into there like that, that's it. Let's brush it across and then a tiny bit more purple in there. more start putting a few greens in that a bit more green just mix blue and yellow for me green <coughs> just adding bits in as I come down here it sort of melt it's gonna melt in with this green here you see A bit of a brownie green in there. Mm, see, that's looking quite nice. Then I can bl 
little in this up here. I think I'm going to blend up here just using more and more water. Like that. Oh, that's perfect. And then into there like that. Into here. Right, now in here. It's like a thicker, warmer green. Let's see if I can mix some at all. Quite a bright, warm green. Yeah, that's nice. It sort of comes in about there, like that. And sort of, yeah, something like that. No, I've got that hard line there, but there is sort of a bit of a line there like that. That's that, some more yellow, and come have some yellow in this front bit. There. Now all those are lying in there, do I like it? Yeah, I'm going to leave it in. I'm going to dry it, see what it looks like. Gentle dry. A bit of dry in this one. Do a greeny glaze. Yeah, let's take it a bit more of a green colour. That's better. And then there. Uh, and a bit of yellow, a bit of red, a bit of brown. Got a bit of brown in this now. That's it. A bit more brown in there. I'm a little pinch of purple in there at that bottom bit, that's it. And then I think I'm gonna blend that up there. That's nice. That's it, I like that. There. That's that. And then I think what I'm gonna do few little bits there to soften some bits so then right what brush shall I use um, I'm gonna use this same brush but we're still gonna do a bit of dry brush work so in fact let me mix some colour up first get some colour mixed up a bit of yellow a bit of blue some greens a bit of brown some dark greens Sad. Squeeze that out and then try and get my brush, end of my brush all battered up, up like that, like that, and then come in and just do some stippling. I can't remember what it was called the other day. Yeah, it's called stippling. So I'll go in there like that, look, and as I go back where I've added that bit of water, it should soften off a bit. Well, that's giving me effect that there's some longer grass just in these bits. Well, re dip my brush into some darker colour. Always go light fast and then darks. Oh, it's a bit less as it goes along there. Just some of this bright green, some bright green there. Too bright, I really I think. Try not put too mad on it. And then I'll add a tiny bit extra water and just put a few bits in like that as it goes into the distance. Smudge that bit. Tell you what, I'll get some on my finger, look. 
bit of texture, a bit of finger painting. There we are. Oh, I'll tell you what, well, let's get some really darks now. Get some bond umber, some Payne's Grey, and some the green what's on my brush. That's it, and then just get some. The brush is still spiky on and look. Some little bits like that in there. There we are, that's nice. Dip into a bit of water. A few bits back there. Yeah, I'll put a bit on my finger again and just do a bit of finger painting as I walk there along. Yeah. Nice bit in there. Just gives that grassy effect and the candle, if you want to do. Stick a couple of grasses in with you can use your fingernail for this look. Look, oh, watch my fingernail. Exactly the same. Just puts little grasses in look. Don't need no spray. I use that, I find it, I don't know what it is. I find it and I use that. It's a bit better than my fingernail, but don't think, oh I can't run that effects, I ain't got one of them, I'd, because I don't even know what that is. Yeah well, that's that. Right, quick dry, and then I reckon I'll whack a couple of sheep in it. <laughs> Tell you what, as well, just I don't like that. So I'm going to go over that. Mix a different colour for that. I think that just. No, it don't look right to me. I've got a monkey purplish colour in here now. Monkey purplish colour. See if that looks better. That's it, go into there. And then I'll just bleed that across a little. I can go up on there. Up there. A bit more water. Bleed it down, it can come up through into there. Look. There. That's nice, isn't it? Back to give that another dry now. That looks better, doesn't it? It's a tiny torch of purple in that top bit there. Like that. So here we go, and across there, back up there. I'll end it here. There. <coughs> I'm going to give that another dry now. So let me get <coughs> this no, let me get this brush. This brush is better for sheep. Right. Designer's white gouch. If you're on proper white colour paper, you can rub your green off and go back to the white of your paper. Or if you're on cartridge paper, same as me, you'll just end up with an hole in your paper. So you might need some designer's white gouache gouch. Not sure what it's called. I think different people pronounce it different. So, right, so let's have What's that one? There. One there. Yeah, another one. And there. And then just. Man, that nice bit of grass. It's there. One there. One next to it there. I tell you what, if he's there that way, let's have another one. There, straight on, right? They tend to stand close to each other right next to him and then I'll have another one there with its head that way two more here Hopefully that's going to look okay. I think what I'm going to do is dry them. That's better. 
dry them and then I can get the let some in light looks like it's coming in this way so I'll get me white bits on these top bits like that look they're my highlights and then top bits there and there <laughs> Doofus is a moron. Doofus is stupid. Doesn't listen when I try to tell him not to be an idiot. Right, um, get to purple. I went to purple in here, just on these bottom bits. That's going to be my shadows. Then I think I wash my brush out and get some purple and some green. Might even chuck a bit of brown in with it, you know, a bit of bont umber in there, you know. That looks quite nice. Colour? Ah, oh, don't want to try that. Let's try that. So, it's uh, going that way, a bit there, that one, and de -de -de. that's my light coming in that way. That's it, that's my shadows, and I think what I'm going to do is <coughs> just dampen this brush, tiny bit damp. And I'm just going to try and soften in these um, sort of shadows here. The purple and the white, <coughs> just softening it in a bit. That's it, that looks better, doesn't it? <coughs> then get a tiny little brush um, we'll make some bond umber and paint's great a tiny little brush right so let's have him there facing that way a little head there him there doing the same I think same with him, his head looks like it's there, is there, he looks like he's there that way. I'll black on the brush. Looks like his head's there. And his is there. Chip they're all just chewing on grass. He's there. Let's say him there, just like that. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. Let me stand back in here look and see what I'm thinking. Just a simple idea to show you I can do a pretty straightforward thing. Let's put um, Peter and Paul up there. Peter, Paul. Billy, Billy, little Billy, Billy, Billy. There. And I think that'll do this clip back on to pull it straight to pull it send on straight in fact let's put it on there look there's a kinkle in my paper there I don't think it's made any difference there we are nice little paint in there a few sheep you could put do what you want you could put some big sheep the world's your lobster if you want to put some big sheep in here in here tend to try and get your sheep so they're looking in into your painting as much as you can so it takes your eye in um, yeah, I think that looks uh, quite nice I could strengthen this front bit up a bit more and bring it all in but for a quick sketch it's alright as it is right now I'll see the on beach in it <laughs>